What's going on guys? Well tonight we're going to be taking a look at some random cool junk that I bought in the last few months. First off is a critters prop that I bought from Muck Time. He was like really really brown looking when I got him. So I rubbed some black paint in his fur and washed it out to darken down his fur. I think he looks a little cooler now. But he's a pretty cool looking critter for the price. He was only like 60 or 70 bucks or something. It's pretty decent looking. I do wish that he had like better fur, but if he had better fur, you know, he'd probably cost $150 or something. But he's pretty badass. And if you've been following my videos at all, you know I'm a fan of the 90s Ninja Turtles figures. And I just think uh, Muckman and Joe Eyeball turned out really, really amazing looking. Really, really fantastic. What's not to like about a mutant garbage man? He's got a, all kinds of great detail. Soda can and a manhole cover stuck to his foot and a pizza and frog and a teddy bear and all this stuff. This guy's really, really cool. And you can't really have a Ninja Turtles collection without Rocksteady and Bebop. Someday I'll have to do a video showing off all my versions of Rocksteady and Bebop. I have about, I don't know, six or seven versions of them. Two of my favorite characters of all time. I really, really love those guys. And next to them, we have the new premium DNA Mad Balls figures. I know the year is pretty young, but I'm just going to go ahead and say this. These are the best new line of figures of 2022. These guys are just really, really amazing. If you're a fan of old 80s stuff, this is like heaven for you to have Mad Balls figures. These guys are really, really cool looking. I can't wait for the next wave of them to come out. And next to him is the Walmart exclusive Doctor Strange. It's about friggin' time that they went ahead and made a, a awesome looking classic comic book Doctor Strange. This figure turned out really, really great. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting this. I finally drank the Kool-Aid and bought some Mythic Legions figures. It's still really, really badass. It's the forest troll. This guy is really gigantic. It's about as big as the like vintage collection Rancor monster figure. Really, really cool. Got this big ass club and everything. He's expensive as hell. He's like $150, but what the hell? You know, you only live once. And I had the money, so I just went ahead and bought the damn thing. So there you have it folks, there's my latest bunch of crap that I've been wasting money on.